recent Middle East events in Libya and Egypt bring focus to what can happen when what I know is not only different than what you know, but offensive. Psychologists call this a rant. When individuals square off at each other from their entrenched perspectives on knowledge of right and wrong, we get an escalating exhibit of confusion, to frustration, to hurt feelings, to debate, argument, to political and social retribution getting even, to physical aggression and violence, and eventually even to murder. The details of the original debate were lost long ago, and nothing but ranting egos are left. Seriously, think about it. If, it, if someone doesn't decide that their position is not worth fighting or killing over, then it escalates until someone dies. Problem solved. But now here's the point. Every disconnect between my understanding of life and yours bears that same potential. The scenario actually plays out quite regularly on the streets of St. Louis and Chicago and just about any city on the planet where individuals of differing backgrounds and cultures and upbringing are compressed into that social cauldron. Domestic violence plays out in families who exist in even more compressed situations. So differing opinions plus compression equal a high likelihood of producing a rant. Now, we've heard it for generations. The world is shrinking. With the advent of internet connectivity, the world is now a virtual social neighborhood, and people square off in cyberspace on a regular basis. They are virtually compressed by their access to each other over cyberspace, and they get to do it more or less anonymously. Now, when an opinionated individual in California goes public with his historically one-sided view of the religious icon for 30% of the world's population, that's 2.1 billion Muslims according to the Pew Trust, the rant escalates like a gang fight in East Los Angeles in 1968, known as the Watts Riots. There's considerable evidence that the responsible parties were poised waiting for an excuse to escalate their rant. But the dynamics are still in play. Their version of right supersedes everybody else's. The offended individuals couldn't directly reach their protagonist, so bolstered by their understanding that they were offended and they are right, well, anybody who's not one of them is fair game. The logic of the original offense is lost. Now, who among us has not found themselves in a boisterous, possibly physical argument where you suddenly couldn't remember what the debate was all about? I doubt seriously if any of the participating attackers at the U.S. Embassy in Libya pulling triggers on their RPGs could pin the reason they were there back to the original video or its creator. So next time someone's understanding of a situation differs from yours, Perhaps you want to visualize the sequence of next steps that end in one or the other of you dead on the floor. I'm pretty sure your Western morals aren't going to allow you to kill the other guy, but remember the original logical data-intensive debate is soon lost to the rant anyway. You can just decide to take the first step right now and open your mind before it even gets to the frustration level. My experience is the results will amaze you. I'm Kim DeMott, corporate co-driver, and this is another moment of clarity. Mm.